Good morning, everyone. What's up? I just love that sound. It's amazing. You know, when people say that they love birds in the morning singing and stuff like that, this is even better. So today, we're going to talk about MR localizers. Let's go. So what's up everyone, MR localizer. Today we're gonna to talk about MR localizers. Is that even a topic? You know what? A friend of mine, he's uh, Aspen Anderson. He's talked, uh, he had a presentation regarding this topic for a few years ago, where he talked around 20, 30 minutes. It was amazing. How is that even possible? How can you talk for so long on just MR localizers? So today uh, I'm gonna to try to share some key points with you guys and uh, how you can speed this up, get equal or even better images on what you currently have today. It's more like a think outside the box and a wake up call. So uh, do not underestimate the MR localizers. Did I really say that? Yeah, because you know what? If you have a very difficult region and then you are gonna use a localizer, if you have a bad localizer, you have to reposition your localizer and then re-scan. This leads to your heart beating fast your palms got starts to sweat and then you get stressed. So this all means that it leads to suboptimal images. It's very easy to lead to suboptimal images. So localizers do not underestimate it, even though you don't use it as a diagnostic sequence, but this is the very first sequence you use in every protocol. So uh, it's needed, it's much needed. So why not uh, saving a few seconds of scan time? So let's go directly to the scanner and I will show you how this can be done. Let's go live at the scanner. We are using 1.5 TouchLab for this test on Healthy Volunteer. I'm just gonna show you different uh, areas where you can uh, uh, do improvement on the localizers. Uh, actually all areas can do improvements, but uh, I don't have time to show you everything, but I'm just gonna show you a few areas. Let's go over the whole spine and I just pick here three uh, sequences directly from a Siemens tree. And uh, these localizers are three steps. So it's 14 seconds times three covering the whole spine. So let's check that one first. And I also want to say that uh, it's very good having those uh, localizers available in the Siemens tree for different areas because it's working great. But uh, I want to show you there's a room for improvement. So the cervical spine is finished here now. So you have two plane. You have a sagittal and coronal, and then you also have a toracal part. Two planes there, and then in the end you have a lumbar, which covering the whole spine, right? It's working great, it's, it's nothing like that. So I uh, want to show you what I usually use. I use a haste localizer, which is divided in two steps. So step one is covering a cervical and half of the toracal, and step two is divided the last part of the toracal and then the lumbar part. So it's five seconds each step, or 4.5 is like it says there. So what I usually do is I lower my TR. That's the first thing I do. Going from 1100 to 1200, which is original, lower it to the minimum. By doing that, you will uh, also uh, enhance the SAR issues. I will show you what you can do to get over that part. And the next thing I do is that I uh, am using one concatenations. It's because if you have uh, the breath hold options on, you if you're using two or three concatenations, that means that the sequence will stop itself because I think it's divided in multiple breath holes. So either have one concatenations and uh, or Use two or three, whatever, but remember to turn off the breath hold. So this is a flip angle. So if you use the original one, which is around 180, if you reduce this to 90 to 100, you will not lose the contrast, believe me. But the good part is that you will overcome this SAR issue, so the sequence will run. So let's go for step one. That's the cervical, half of the toracal part. Two planes, just like the original T1 flash from a sequence, from a Siemens.
we have it in two places as well. So I see what I need to see to do the planning, right? It's, it's not that bad for five seconds. Let's check the lumbar part there and compare it to the T1 flash. You see what you got to see. It's, I got to be, I have to be honest with that. And then I have the posing, automatic composing on. Two planes, sagittal and coronal, just to get a great overview whenever I'm doing the planning of the total spine. So let's move to um, abdomen. I'm just going to show you the localizer I picked up here from the Siemens tree. It takes around 14 seconds compared to a haste localizer, which I modified here. I'm going to show you the difference. Let's run the flash localizer from the Siemens tree first. And I do the same here for the haste localizer. I'll go on with the TR, the lower that part. As a minimum, using one concatenations and also using a lower flip angle from 180 to around 90 and 100 just to be able to run the sequence without uh, any star issue. So, this is the uh, localizer from Siemens, it's great, it's nothing wrong with that. You see what you got to see, right? Top of the lower part of the liver and uh, the anatomy for further planning. Just to compare those two, this is the localizer from the haste in the middle there. You have the coronal part. So you see the, the artifact there. It's, uh, it's because I have three planes in one sequence and uh, this can cause an artifact like that. So I still see the top and bottom of the liver with my haste. Also have the transfusion plane here. Same for the flash there. So it's all up to you. You can use 14 seconds uh, localizer or 5 seconds localizer. Now let's move down further down to the hip. This is the original one from Siemens. It takes around 20 seconds. And then I modify one haste localizer which takes around 4 seconds. So let's check that one. So it shows here the corner plane and transversal plane which is great. You see the anatomy for the planning. Let's run the haste localizer. I also did the same here, lower the TR and, and the flip angle. It's not that bad for 5 seconds or 4 seconds just to see the anatomy for further planning. But I also want to show you if you want to use, uh, I just dragged down that sequence and modify this one. I just want to optimize this one. If you want to use the T1 flash from the Siemens, I can show you easily how easily you can improve this one and uh, even get better images and lower scan time. The first thing you're going to do is that you're going to check that parallel imaging is off. So I'm going to turn this to Grappa Pad 2 and check the relative SNR. It's going from 1 to 0 0.71. So you're losing SNR. But uh, this is just relative and uh, you need to know what code you're using. And you have a lot of SNR here. So do not uh, worry about that. So I went from 20 seconds to 12 seconds and then further down I go to the base resolution and just going up with 100% of the face resolution and uh, one click up with the base to 288 just to have a little bit better resolution. So already now I'm uh, going from 20 seconds to 15 and then I check the TR. So I have the options I'm going from 6 milliseconds to 5.5 and I do that and say 1 second. The next part is the introduction. You probably heard the, the warning sound before the sequence starts. That's the introduction. So by turning it off, you can sometimes say one second or two or three seconds. So let's check here. In this case, I say only one second, but it does matter. If I want to save scan time. The bandwidth is uh, it's okay. Let's run the sequence and test it and check. Compare this to the original one. So I pull this up here. That's the new one. That's the original one. So you still see anatomy, right? It's, it's, it's not that bad. You save a few seconds there by just doing a few clicks. So the last part is uh, I want to show you the ankle. I'm using a 16 channel ankle, foot ankle. So let's check this one. Taking an original from the Siemens. 
So the original one is uh, transversal first, it takes around 9 seconds, and then you have a further planning for the sagittal corner of transversal, it takes around 17 seconds. So I'm just going to show you a few clicks here to improve those uh, in uh, terms of image quality and uh, saving scan time. So I'm just going to position here. The localizer after anatomy. So the localizers are great. You see what you need to see to further position the ankle. But let's pull down the transversal first and check that one to see if we can modify this one. So this one original from takes around 8.6 seconds. And you see the parallel imaging is off. So I'm going to turn this on. And still I'm losing SNR, but remember what code you're using and you have a lot of SNR here to push it further. Next one, I'm going to 100 there. Check the TR, it's a little bit lower there. Introduction off, as you see here, I saved from 61.1 seconds to 4.6. Then I turn the RF pulse on fast, just to be able to go on with the TR from 6.6 .6 to 6.1. So now I'm currently at 4.3 seconds. Bandwidth is raised a little bit there, 370. Just to be able to push the TR a little bit further. I know when I'm using the bandwidth, I will lose SNR, but this is a good coil, so you have a lot of SNR to play around with. So now I'm at 4 seconds, so I'm... Uh, I went from 8.6 seconds till the end now is 4 seconds and uh, check the relative SNR. I lost around half of it. Let's run this one and check it. So let's compare those two. The new one is on the right there and the old one is in the middle. It's not that bad, right? You have you lost half the SNR, but still you have better resolution because I play around with the base, uh, the face resolution. And show the scan time. So let's check this one if you can do push this a little bit further. It's from 17 seconds. Run again, grappa on. And I play around with the face resolution. Introduction off. Go average RF pulse from normal to fast. I raise my bandwidth a little bit. So I lost half an SNR now. I'm just gonna push the TR to 5.6 to save scan time. So 70 seconds to 8.6. Let's check that one. So the original one is further to the left and the new one is in the middle. So you can see the resolution is a little bit better here. SNR is more than enough. And uh, you save a lot of scan time by just doing a few clicks. So this just show how easily you can improve your uh, localizers in terms of uh, have a shorter scan time, speed things up and even get better localizers. So also remember what coil you're using because you can really push it further with uh, different coils. So just keep that in mind. Well guys, that's it for today and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find this valuable. So even though you, you save a second here, a second there, it's not much. But if you look at the whole MR protocol, if you save a second here, a second there, and you add this all together, it will mean a lot of scan time. So you can save a lot of scan time. So why not? It's room for improvement. You have good codes, you have good scanner. So uh, when using so long scan time and get bad images for localizers where you can just speed this up, get equal or even better localizers. So please adapt whatever is useful for you and uh, 
So if you have any comments, please leave uh, the comment in the description down below. And if you really like this video, give a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe because uh, and ring the notification bell. You get a ding ding whenever a new post from me coming up. You will get to be updated with my videos. So until next time, I see you around. Peace out.